the Eulabox Pro is getting a new upgrade to version 1.0.9. Let's install. Let's test the new features. What's new? Chroma Key is now available for all video sources, including SD card videos and PDFs. Previously, we could only apply Chroma Key to the live video inputs. Now let's add a video source from the SD card I have a pre-recorded video with a green screen. Let's select it. Done. Now the SD card video has its own little man icon which represents chroma key. Let's tap on it and turn on key switch. The green is removed. Now let me choose a background image. Let's pick this room image. Done. There you go. So that's a pre-recorded green screen footage with the background replaced. Let's add another video source, this time a PDF. I've specially prepared some blue screen slides for this demo. The original slides look like this, with three pages. Apply chroma key, turn on keying switch, and apply blue color type. Instead of adding a still image background, I'm going to add a live video background. For that, I have to add another video source using picture-in-picture -picture video. My live video will be the background, next, and the PDF will be in the foreground, next. So now the PDF is rather small, I'm going to scale it up to full screen and select done. Here's how it looks like. I have the PDF text just like an overlay. And if I were to change the slide, flip over, it changes. And if I change the third page, you will see a screen capture. You can now set bit rate control at up to 50,000 kilobits per second for recording on monitor mode. Tap on the plus button, enter monitor mode, select settings, go into encoding setting. Under constant quality, we can go up to 50,000 kbps. And under constant bit rate, we can also go up to 50,000 kbps. How about variable bit rate? 50,000 kbps. That's something I will definitely use. Higher bit rate means higher recording quality. You can now record continuously without being splitted into clips. There is a new option in the settings, recording limits. We can now choose the length of our video recording to break it up into 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes or to record continuously but we might face the danger of losing the complete recording due to unexpected interruptions so the suggested setting is 10 minutes hmm let me take the risk and leave it at continuous recording live stream to facebook rtmps is now supported under single platform stream mode by default, the streaming mode is set to single platform stream. If I want to stream to multiple platforms at the same time, I will have to use YOLO Live multi-streaming service, which allows me to stream up to three platforms simultaneously. If we choose direct single platform stream, we will bypass YOLO Live's server and stream directly to YouTube or Facebook or Twitch. According to the Yolobox Pro website, there are more new features on the way. In the meantime, like, comment, and subscribe. This is Aiden Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one.